Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this teddy bear right here. He's a plump teddy. I stuffed him rather well, so he's kind of, he's chunky. There ain't nothing wrong with that. So he's actually um, pretty easy to make. He's just all single crochet. Um, these eyes actually in the nose actually uh, were donated to me, but you can get these at most craft stores. And I know you can get them off eBay and Amazon. I don't know about Walmart. I don't, I've never seen them at my Walmart, but um, I have a small Walmart. so. But I know you can get them at most craft stores and eBay and Amazon for sure. Or you can sew on um, your own eyes too if you wish. So I'm going to set them to the side. I'll show you what I use. I'm going to ask you to please not forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That way you never miss any of my tutorials. Um, for this yarn, I'm using the Lion Bang Brand Collection yarn, the Soft Spoken. It's a, a wool acrylic blend. It's super soft, and believe it or not, it's really easy to work with. It really glides through your hands. I know you're looking at it, and you're probably thinking, eh, fuzzies, but it glides right through. It's very nice yarn. It's a bulky five. 394 yards <coughs> excuse me in this cake and I was able to make teddy with one cake I didn't have hardly any left but one cake did it and the color that I used was called moonlight of course you can use any color that you wish and, I, and then I also used a size J which is a six millimeter crochet hook and then you're gonna need some fiber fill to fill him up with I got this at Walmart right next to the buttons and the button aisle and I think it was just like three dollars for this big old bag. Okay let's go ahead and get started on it. Okay we're gonna start with Teddy's head so we're gonna work start with the slip knot on our hook. Now you want to start with a chain of three. One, two, three and then we're going to go ahead and slip stitch into our first chain to form a ring now if you want to use the magic circle here that is fine too now we're going to chain one and that chain one does not count as a stitch we're going to work six single crochets through the center of the ring so go right through the center and work six single crochets there's one two three four, five, and six. Now you can pull your tail, close up that circle a little bit more. Now you want to place a stitch marker here. So that ends round one and you'll have six stitches. I'm just going to use that piece of yarn right there. Now we're going to jump to our very first single crochet that you made. I always like to count back to make sure I get the correct one. Okay, to the first single crochet, not the chain one, but the first single crochet, go right into it. And work two single crochets into that stitch. Now we're gonna work two single crochets into every stitch all the way around back to our stitch marker. Okay, I've made it back around at the end of round two you should have it 12 single crochets now so we're gonna pull our stitch marker up pull it out and move it up now for round three we're gonna single crochet one time into the first stitch Oops. and then two single crochets into the next stitch Okay. 
one single crochet into the next stitch and then two single crochets into the next so that's the repeat for round three one single crochet and then two single crochets into the next one single crochet and then two single crochets into the next and we're going to repeat that pattern until we get back to our stitch marker Okay, when you make it back to your marker, your last stitch should be two double crochets in the same stitch, and you should have 18 stitches now. Move your marker up. Now we're going to start again, and we're going to put for round four, one single crochet into the first two stitches. So one there, and then one into the next, and then the next stitch will get two single crochets into the same stitch. And that's what we're going to repeat for round four. One single crochet in each of the next two stitches. And then two single crochets into the next. One single crochet into the next two stitches. And two single crochets into the next. So go ahead and repeat that pattern. One single, one single, two, one single, one single, two, all the way back around to your stitch marker. Okay, I've made it back around at the end of round four. You should have ended where you had two single crochets into that last stitch and you should have 24 stitches now. So for round five, go ahead and move your stitch marker up. And now we're going to put one single crochet into the first three stitches. Just one, two, three and then two single crochets into the next and that's what we're going to repeat for round five one single crochet into the next three stitches there's one two and three and then two single crochets into the next so go ahead and repeat that pattern three single crochets and then two in the same stitch three single crochets and two all the way back until you get back to your stitch marker okay i've made it to the end of round five you should have ended with two double crochets into that last stitch and you should have a total of 30 stitches now go ahead and move your stitch marker up round six one single crochet into the next four stitches and then two single crochets into the next and that's the repeat around six one single crochet into the next four stitches two single crochets into the next so keep repeating that until you make it back to your stitch marker one single crochet in the next four and then two single crochets into the next okay i made it to the end of round six you should have ended in two single crochets into that last stitch 36 stitches now go ahead and pull your stitch marker up now for rounds seven and eight we're just going to work one single crochet in every stitch so start round seven we're just going to work one single crochet in every stitch all the way around until you get back to your stitch marker just like that okay I've made it back around in the round seven I still should have 36 stitches go ahead and pull my stitch marker up again for round eight I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna put one single crochet and every stitch all the way around so I'm just repeating round seven for round eight 
Okay, I've made it to the end of round eight, 36 stitches still. Go ahead and move your stitch marker up. Now for round nine, we're gonna put one single crochet into the first five stitches. And then two single crochets into the next. And that's a repeat for round nine. One single crochet into the next five stitches. And then two single crochets into the next. So you want to repeat that pattern all the way back around until you get to your stitch marker. Okay, I've made it to the end of round nine. You should have ended with two single crochets into that last stitch, and you should have a total of 42 stitches now. Move your marker up. For round 10, we're gonna put one single crochet into the first six stitches. And then two single crochets into the next. And that's the repeat for round 10. One single crochet into the next six stitches. And two single crochets into the next. So go ahead and repeat that pattern back around to your stitch marker. Okay, I've made it back around. Um, at the end of round 10, you should end it with two single crochets into that last stitch, and now you should have a total of 48 stitches. So for round 11, we're gonna move our stitch marker up. Round 11 is going to be one single crochet in every stitch all the way around. So just one single in every stitch until you get back to the beginning. Okay, I made it back around. I did the end of round 11, and I still should have 48 stitches. I'm going to move my stitch marker up. Round 12, we're going to put one single crochet into the first seven stitches. And then two single crochets into the next. And that's the repeat for round 12. One single crochet into the next seven stitches. And then two single crochets into the next. So we're going to repeat this all the way around until we get back to the beginning. Okay, I've made it to the end of round 12. Should end it with two single crochets in that last stitch, and you should have a total of 54 stitches now. So now for round 13, we're just going to go around and we're going to put one single crochet in every stitch. like this until we get back to the beginning. One single on every stitch. Okay, I made it back around and did round 13 and you still should have 54 stitches. What you want to do is move your stitch marker up. Now we're going to repeat round 13 for a total of 16 rounds. So we just continue putting one single crochet in every stitch until we get finished with round 16. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll meet you when I'm at, when I finished round 16. And you should have uh, 54 stitches at the end of every round. Okay, I've made it to the end of round 16 and you should have 54 stitches still. So go ahead and move your stitch marker up. Now for round 17, we're gonna do some decreases. 
So we're going to put one single crochet into the first seven stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now we're going to decrease over the next two stitches. A decrease has worked over two stitches. So you go into the first stitch and drop a loop and then into the next one and drop a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over and go through all three. So that took two stitches and made it into one. And that's what we're going to repeat now all the way around. One single crochet into the next seven stitches. Now single crochet decrease over the next two. So go into the next one, drop a loop, and then to the next one, drop a loop, yarn over and go through all three loops. And then one single crochet in the next seven and then decrease. Single crochet over seven and decrease all the way back around to your stitch marker. Okay, I've made it back around to the end of round 17. Now you should have ended in a decrease stitch there. Go ahead and pull, and you should have uh, 48 stitches now. Go ahead and pull your stitch marker up. So for round 18, we're just going to go and we're going to put one single crochet in every stitch. All the way around. Just like that. So round 18 is one single in every stitch until you get back to your stitch marker. Okay, I've made it back around to the end of round 18. You should have 48 stitches. Go ahead and pull your stitch marker up. Now we're going to do for round 19, our row decreases again. So we're going to put one single crochet into the first six stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to decrease over the next two stitches. So go into the next one, drop a loop, and the next one, drop a loop, yarn over and go through all three. So that's the repeat now for round 19. One single crochet in the next six stitches. And decrease over the next two. Just like that. So go ahead and re repeat that pattern all the way back around to your stitch, stitch marker. One single crochet in the next six and then decrease back to the beginning. Okay, I've made it back around to the end of round 19. Now you should have ended in a decrease and you should have a total of 42 stitches. Go ahead and pull your stitch marker up. Round 20 is just going to be one single crochet in every stitch all the way around. Just like that. One single all the way around to get back to the beginning. Okay, I made it to the end of round 20. You still still have 42 stitches. Go ahead and pull your stitch marker up. Now we're going to do decreases again. And we're going to do one single crochet in the next five stitches. And then decrease over the next two. And we're going to repeat that one single crochet into the next five. Decrease over the next two. So I'm going to repeat that all the way around until I get back to my stitch marker. Okay, I have made it to the end of round 21 and you should have 36 stitches now. I'm going to pull my stitch marker up and I'm going to decrease again. This time it's one single crochet into the first four stitches. And two D or a double, I'm sorry, a single crochet decrease over the next two. 
one single crochet into the next four. Single crochet decrease over the next two. So you want to repeat this all the way around back to the beginning. Okay, I've made it to the end of round 22 and now you should have 30 stitches. Go ahead and pull your stitch marker up. Round 23, decrease again. One single crochet into the first three stitches. One, two, three, and single crochet decrease over the next two. And repeat that all the way around. One single crochet into the next three. And single crochet decrease over the next two. So I'm going to repeat that until I get back to my stitch marker. Okay, I've made it to the end of round 23 and I have a total of 24 stitches now. I'm going to go ahead and attach my eyes now before my hole gets too small. So go ahead and pull this up so you don't lose your spot. And keep your stitch marker there. So I'm going to lay my piece flat and grab my eyes. Okay, you can kind of put your eyes wherever you want. I put mine in between rounds 9 and 10. I kind of just stuck them right in there. Um, I try to get them as even as possible. And I left about 4 stitches, 4 or 5 stitches in between them. But you know, you can do yours however you want. And then you kind of just stick them in there and you take your backs of your eyes and... Snap them, on, snap them on real tight. So, real tight. So they don't come undone like that. And then you do that to the other one. Get your back. The, like this. Real tight. All the way till you can't get it to go anymore. And then the nose, if you want to put a nose. Um... I did you do it the kind of the same way I just put it in between my eyes um, about one two three rows past my past the bottom of my eye so one two three and then I put my my nose kind of in the center now it's not gonna be perfect because it's a homemade teddy bear if it was perfect we go buy it from Walmart or if we wanted it to be perfect we go buy it from Walmart right that's the way I look at it like that and then the nose just snaps on the same way with one of these rings and just snap it on there until and you don't have to put a nose on him if you don't want to I see lots of teddies without noses I'm on there make sure he's straight and then like that so that's Ted and his eyes and his nose are on now now what I'm gonna do is kind of put a little bit of start put a little bit of stuffing in him before I close him all the way up so we just put the stuffing in a little bit at a time and then you'll close it up a little bit more and put more stuffing in we won't close his head completely we'll start his body from his head so Okay, I got some stuffing in there. So now what I'm going to do is I have to rearrange the stuffing a bit. Now you can stuff him as tight as you want. I might stuff him a little bit more tighter, but I'm going to do that after I close him up a little bit more. I don't want to lose my spot here. Okay. Okay, now I believe we're going to be on round 24. So we're going to pull our stitch marker up. And now we're going to do one single crochet into the next two stitches. It's a little harder when you get some of that stuffing in there, but you got to get that stuffing in before it gets too small. 
and then single crochet decrease over the next two. One single crochet into the next two stitches and then two single crochets or single crochet decrease over the next two and that's the repeat for round 24 one single crochet into the next two and then single crochet decrease over the next two so go ahead and repeat that all the way around to get back to the beginning Okay, I've made it back around to the end of round 24 and you should have 18 stitches now. Pull your stitch marker up. So we're going to close them up one more time here. So it's one single crochet into the look here. Into the first stitch here. And then single crochet decrease over the next two. Get make sure you are pulling your stitches really tight. So one single crochet into the next stitch, pull it tight so it's not gaping open. And then single crochet decrease over the next two. That's the important part is that you get it tight on this part. And you're gonna go ahead and repeat that all the way around. One single and then a single crochet decrease. One single and a single crochet decrease. Just like that. To get back to your stitch marker. Okay, I've made it to the end of round 25 and you should have 12 stitches now. Now I'm going to go ahead and stuff him up some more and try to get him a little tighter here. So go ahead and pull your stitch up here so you don't lose it. Now you can stuff him as tight as you want. Probably try to stuff him. So just keep pushing it in, get it to the top, so you get him as tight as stuff tight as you want him to be. And then we'll start working on his body. So I'm going to keep stuffing mine up. Okay, there's my head. Now you can stuff him for as tight as you want, get him fiddle around him so he's not lopsided. Now I'm going to start working on his body. So his body is attached to his head. So I'm going to take my stitch marker. We're on round 25. Okay, we're going to start round 26 by putting one single crochet into every stitch all the way around. I know it's a little tight, but it'll get easier here in a minute. Okay, I've made it to the end of round 26, and I have 12 stitches. Go ahead and pull my marker up. Now, round 27... I'm going to put two single crochets into every stitch all the way around. So we're going to start making it wider now for his body. So two single crochets in every stitch until you get back to your stitch marker. I know it's kind of a tight spot to be working in, but it'll get better here soon. So two singles every stitch until you get back to the beginning. Okay, I've made it to the end of round 27. You should have 24 stitches. Move your stitch marker up. Round 28, I'm just going to work one single crochet in every stitch around.
So one single and every stitch around until you get back to the beginning. Okay, I've made it back around in around 28. You should have 24 stitches around 29. Move our stitch marker up. Now we're gonna work two single crochets in every stitch all the way around again. So two singles in every stitch. This is round 29. hard to keep control of my head so it's two single crochets and every stitch all the way back around to your stitch marker okay came to the end around uh 29 48 stitches now go ahead and move your stitch marker up and now for around 30 it's one single crochet in every stitch all the way around until you get back to the beginning Okay, once you make it back around to the end of round 30, you should have 48 stitches. And then you want to repeat round 30 until you hit 32 rounds. So just continue um, doing one single crochet in every stitch until you finish your 32nd round. And at the end of each round, you should still have 48 stitches. Okay, I've made it to the end of round 32 and I got my 48 stitches. So I'm going to pull my stitch marker up. Now round 40 three I'm going to increase so I'm going to put one single crochet into the first five stitches and then the next stitch I'm going to put two single crochets into the next and that's the repeat now for round 33 one single crochet into the next five And then two into the next. So you just want to repeat that all the way back around until you get back to your stitch marker. Okay, I've made it to the end of round 33. And, and you should have a total of 56 stitches. And move your stitch marker up. Round 34 is just going to be one single crochet in every stitch around. So one single in every stitch until you get back to your stitch marker. Okay, I've made it back around at the end of round 34 and you still should have 56 stitches. Go ahead and move your stitch marker up. Now we're gonna increase again. This time it's one single crochet into the first six stitches. And then two single crochets into the next. And that's the repeat for this time around, round 35. One single crochet into the next six stitches and then two single crochets into the next, all the way back around to your stitch marker. Okay, I made it to the end of round 35 and you should have a total of 64 stitches now. Go ahead and move your marker up. It's just one single crochet in every stitch around just like this one single every stitch until you get back to the beginning okay I've made it to the end of round 36 64 stitches go ahead and move your stitch marker up we're going to increase again one single crochet into the first seven stitches and then two single crochets into the next just 
seven and then two into the next. And we're gonna repeat that pattern all the way around. One single crochet in the next seven and then two in the next, all the way back around to the beginning. Okay, I've made it to the end of round 37. You guys should have 72 stitches now. Go ahead and pull your stitch marker up. Round 38 is one single crochet in every stitch around until you get back to the beginning. Just like that. One single, every stitch, back to your stitch marker. Okay, I've made it to the end of round 38, and I have my 72 stitches still, 39. I'm gonna increase one more time. So one single crochet in the first eight stitches. And then two single crochets in the next. And that's what we're gonna repeat all the way around. One single crochet in the next eight, and then two single crochet in the next. One single crochet in the next eight, two single crochet in the next, all the way back around to your stitch marker. Okay, I've made it to the end of round 39. I'm gonna go ahead and move my stitch marker up. You should have 80 stitches now. Now we're gonna be working rounds of one single crochet in every stitch. So we're gonna start round 40. Working one single crochet in every stitch around until you get back to your stitch marker. When you make it back around, you should have 80 stitches still. Okay, after you make it back around, around 40, um, and you have your 80 stitches, you just want to repeat that round 40 of one single crochet in every stitch until you reach a total of 60 rounds, which I already did. So round 40 and all the way up to 60, you know, it's just one single crochet in every stitch. 80 stitches at the end. So I, I'm at round, I just finished round 60. So now we're gonna start decreasing his body. So we're gonna go ahead and move our stitch marker up. So for round 61, we're going to do eight single crochets in a row. And then a single crochet decrease over the next two stitches. So go into the next one, drop a loop, Next one, drop a loop, yarn over, and go through all three. And again, it's just eight single crochets in a row, and then a single crochet decrease. And we're going to repeat that all the way around until we get back to our stitch marker. Okay, I made it back around in the round uh, 61, and now I have 72 stitches. You should have ended in a decrease. So I'm going to go ahead and move my stitch marker up. Now I'm going to decrease again. This time I'm going to do seven single crochets in a row. And then a decrease. So there's one, two, three, and there's seven, and then a decrease over the next two stitches. So that's why I'm going to repeat all the way around. Seven single crochets in a row, and then a single crochet decrease all the way back around until I get back to the beginning. Okay, I've <clears throat> made it to the end, of, and now you should end it in a decrease. I'll have 64 stitches. Pull my stitch marker out. I'm going to work one single crochet in every stitch. So I'm not going to decrease for this round. So one single in every stitch until I get back to the beginning. Okay, I come to the end of row 63, and you still should have 64 stitches. Go ahead and move your marker up. Now I'm going to decrease again. This time we're going to do one single crochet in the first six stitches. And 
and single crochet decrease over the next two. And that's the repeat for round 64. One single crochet in the next six stitches again. And then single crochet decrease over the next two. And you want to repeat that pattern until you get back to your stitch marker. Okay, I've made it to the end of round 64. It should end it in a decrease. And you should have 56 stitches now. Round 65. We're going to decrease again. So it's one single crochet into the next five stitches. And then single crochet decrease over the next two. And that's the pattern we're going to repeat all the way around. One single crochet in the next five and then decrease. Next single crochet in the next five and decrease all the way back around to the beginning. Okay, I've made it to the end of round 65 and you should end in a decrease and you should have 48 stitches now. Go ahead and move your marker up. So for round 66, we're just going to put one single crochet in every stitch around until you get back to the beginning. So one single, every stitch, until you get back to your stitch marker. Okay, I've made it to the end of round 66 and I have my 48 stitches still so I'm going to move my stitch marker up and now I'm going to do some decreases again so I'm going to work one single crochet into the first four stitches now and then I'm going to do a single crochet decrease over the next two stitches like that then four single crochets again and then a single crochet de decrease all the way back around to the beginning okay i've made it back around uh 67 should have ended in a decrease and now you should have 40 stitches go ahead and move it up and then we're going to decrease again so we're going to do one single crochet into the first three stitches and then we're going to do a single crochet decrease over the next two and that's going to be the repeat one single crochet in the next three and then a single crochet decrease all the way around back to the beginning Okay, I've been, and you should have 32 stitches now. Bring your stitch marker up, and I'm going to decrease again. This time it's one single crochet and two stitches. One, two, and then it's one single crochet decrease over the next. So, one single crochet in the next two, and then single, <coughs> excuse me, single crochet decrease. One single in the next two, and single crochet decrease, all the way back around to your stitch marker. Okay. I've made it to the round 39 and you should have 26 stitches now. Go ahead and pull your string up so you don't lose it. Um, don't pull your um, stitch marker up just yet. I'm going to start stuffing him while we got a little bit of a hole left before we close him all the way up. That way, if we get too small of a hole, we won't be able to stuff him. Make sure you don't lose your stitch marker in there. And I'm just going to stuff him until he's good and tight or stuff him to your liking but you need to get him a little bit you don't want to overstuff him but you need to get him a little firm so he can stand up a little bit or set up a bit on his own I guess okay I got him stuffed up he's firm but he's not real his head will probably be a little wobbly and that's fine if you don't like it wobbly we can always put a few stitches later in the end but so don't worry about that if his head's wobbly. So there's that. I'm going to go ahead and try to close him up now. So, see, I think we're on round 670 uh, maybe now, I think. But anyways, what we're going to do is we're just going to close him up. So go ahead and move your stitch marker up. I know it's going to be hard to see now because he's so fat. Now it's just one single crochet. 
into the next stitch and then a single crochet decrease into the next and you got to pull these really make sure you pull them tight so he closes up so there's my decrease and then one single crochet and then there's my decrease like I said pull them really tight so they're not gaping holes so go ahead and repeat that around till you get to your stitch marker Okay, once you make it back around, you're going to take your stitch marker out. We're not really going to need it anymore. I'm just going to do decreases, and I'm going to do them all the way around until I can't do any more. And then I'll just sew the rest of it shut. So, just kind of, I'm sorry he's at a bad angle because he's just decrease in every stitch. Just do single crochet decreases until you can't do them anymore. And then we'll tie it off and just sew him up the rest of the way. Probably only be able to make it maybe one more time around and then... If it's getting really, really hard for you, you can sew them together now if you wanted to at the bottom. But I'm just going to do these decreases until I can't do them anymore. And I know you can't really see because he's, like I said, he's pleasantly plump. So he's taking up much, most of the camera. Just decrease until there ain't much more of a hole left. And then I'll meet you back up with you. Okay, I decreased, so I couldn't really decrease anymore, and I got a little bit of a hole here, so um, just tie, or clip your yarn and clip a long tail here. Now, if you want to shove a little bit more stuffing right there in this, in this bottom, or this, yeah, in this bottom here, is, there, to make sure you... That's good enough. Okay, and then I'm just going to take my yarn needle. I'm just going to sew him shut up with it now. Maybe. So just take it and then just grab a piece here, or a stitch here. Stitch here, we'll just sew him shut. So he doesn't lose any of his stuffing. And just do this till it's pretty tight. You're hiding your tail at the same time too, so. It's probably about good enough. Okay, now we're going to start, I guess, on his body parts, his legs and arms. So there he is. If he's kind of lumpy, you can kind of push that fiber fill around in there and get all the lumps out of him. That's what he looks like so far. Looking a little funny, kind of like an alien. He needs some ears, I guess. Okay, so we can set him to the side while we work on his body parts. Okay, now we'll start his leg. So you just want to start with a slip knot on your hook. And we're going to work a chain of three. And slip stitch into the first chain to form a ring. And then we will chain one, which does not count as a stitch, and work six single crochets through the center of the ring. Okay, you can pull your tail to close up that circle. And now grab your stitch marker. Place it right here. And you'll have six. That's round one. You'll have six single crochet. Go ahead and jump to the first single crochet you made. And put two 
single crochet into that first single crochet. And then we'll put two single crochet in each of every single crochet to get back to your stitch marker. And then you'll have 12 single crochet when you make it back around. And that'll end round two. That round three, we'll go ahead and pull our stitch marker up. Start again. And in the first single crochet, we'll put one single crochet. And in the next single crochet, we'll put two single crochet. So that'll be the repeat for round three. One single crochet in the next stitch. And then two single crochets into the next. One single crochet in the next. And then two in the next. And you want to repeat this until you get back to your stitch marker. Okay, I've made it back to my stitch marker at the end of round three. You should have ended with two double crochets into that last stitch. Pull your marker up. You should have 18 stitches now. Okay, now we're going to put one double crochet into the first two stitches. One there, and then one in the next one. And then we're going to put two double crochets into the next stitch. One double crochet into the next two stitches. And then two double crochets into the next stitch. And that's the repeat now for round four. One double in the next two, or one single into the next two. I apologize if I said double before. And then two single crochets into the next. So go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way back around to your stitch marker. Okay, I've made it back to the end of round four. Go ahead and move your stitch marker up and you should have 24 stitches. Now we're gonna go ahead and put one single crochet into the first three stitches. There's one two, three, and then two single crochets into the next. And that's the pattern we're going to repeat all the way around. One single crochet into the next three stitches. And then two single crochets into the next. And you want to repeat that until you get back to the beginning. Okay, I've made it to the end of row five, and now you should have 30 stitches. Go ahead and pull your marker up. And now we're gonna do one single crochet into the first four stitches. I'm having a little trouble seeing this. Okay, into the first four. And then two single crochets into the next. One single crochet into the next four again. And then two single crochets into the next. So you want to go ahead and repeat that all the way around back to your stitch marker. Okay, made it back around in around six. You should have 36 stitches now. Go ahead and move your marker up. Now I'm going to do um, three rows of, or three rounds of one single crochet in every stitch. So rounds seven, eight, and nine are all going to be one single crochet in every stitch. So I'm starting on seven right now. So just work around and put one single crochet in every stitch. And when you get back to your stitch marker, you, st you should still have 36 stitches. And then just move it up and go around again. And then one more time after that. So I'm on seven and I'm gonna work through row round nine, putting one single crochet in every stitch. 
Okay, I've made it to the end of round nine and I still have 36 stitches. So I'm going to go ahead and move my stitch marker up. Now I'm going to do a row of decreases. So I want to put one single crochet into the first four stitches. And then I'm going to decrease over the next two. And I'm going to repeat that all the way around. One single crochet into the next four stitches. And then decrease over the next two. Just like that. So go ahead and repeat that all the way back around to your stitch marker. Okay, I <clears throat> made it back around at the end of round 10. And now you'll have 30 stitches. So you want to go, you should have ended in a decrease. So you want to go ahead and move your stitch marker up. Now we're going to do decreases again. We're going to do for round 11, one single crochet into first three stitches. And then we're going to decrease over the next two. And that's the pattern now. One single crochet into the next three. And then decrease over the next two. So go ahead and repeat that pattern back around till you get to your stitch marker. Okay, I made it back to end around 11. Should have ended in a decrease. And you should have 24 stitches now. Round 12, I'm just going to work around and put one single crochet in every stitch. until I get back around to my beginning. Okay, made it to the round 12, 24 stitches. Round 13, we're gonna decrease one more time. So we're gonna put one single crochet into the first two stitches. And then we're gonna decrease over the next two. One single crochet into the next two stitches and decrease over the next two and we're going to repeat this all the way around to get back to our stitch marker okay I've made it back around into round 13 and now you should have 18 stitches so go ahead and move your stitch marker up now rounds 14 through 26 we're just going to put one single crochet in every stitch so now it's just rounds of one single crochet in every stitch you should always have 18 stitches at the end of every round we're on round 14 now and you want to work until you finish round 26 just like that just keep moving your marker up as you go Okay, I've made it to the end of round 26. I still have 18 stitches, so go ahead and move your stitch marker up. I'm just going to do one little round of decreases. So I'm going to go into the first stitch and single crochet, and then decrease over the next two. And then first stitch, single, and decrease over the next two. And I'm going to do this until I get back to my stitch marker. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into the next stitch, pull up a, a little bit longer of a string so you can sew it on, maybe about 12 inches or so I guess, and now we'll put some, go ahead and pull that through, move that stitch marker out, now we can shove some stuffing down in there. I'm going to put a little bit more towards the bottom of his foot because it's uh, bigger down there. Just 
keep doing that until you get stuffed and you might want to stretch it a bit and then you can make two legs the exact same so like that okay you just kind of want to stuff them until they look about the same at the bottom there about the same size but about the same amount of stuffing in them and then leave a little not not no really no stuffing there at the top so you can squeeze it together and then you just sew him on sew it onto his body with this tail that you have and a yarn needle so you just kind of line it up to where you want to put them with this eyes and with the front of his body once you decide where you want to put him I'm kind of just putting it on right around here at the bottom just sew it on grab his body and then grab his leg and kind of sew it on as neatly and as best the best as you can that's I just try to do it as neatly as I can push that stuffing back up in there I grab this piece over here and then this piece over here sew him on He's just so fat. Make sure you're getting that bottom bottom piece. That way it's still in the flap shut too. Remember he's not gonna be perfect because he's homemade. So don't worry about that. Now I'm gonna go. I'm probably go across across him again just to make sure that he's on there nice and tight. And then you just sew the other one on the same way. And that's how we now get his legs sewed on, and then we'll start making his arms. Okay, now for his arms, we'll make them both the same, just like we did. The legs do the same. So, they're just going to be a little bit different. So, we're going to start with a chain of three. Slip stitch into your first stitch to form a ring. chain one which doesn't count as a stitch and we'll work six single crochets through the center of the ring pull that tail close up that circle and now you get your switch marker and place it here and that'll be round one now we're going to go to our first single crochet over here and put two single crochets in it. And two single crochets in every stitch. Back to the stitch marker. And you'll have 12 stitches now, and that'll be the end of round two. Go ahead and move your marker up. Round three, one single crochet into the first stitch, and two single crochets into the next. And then one single crochet and then two single crochets and we're going to repeat this all the way around one single and then two singles one and then two Ok, 
Okay, when you make it back around here at the end of round three, you should end with two single crochets in that last stitch. Now you should have 18 stitches. Move our marker up. Now we're going to do one single crochet into the first two stitches. And then two single crochets into the next. And that's a repeat for round four. One single crochet in the next two. And then two single crochets in the next. And go ahead and repeat that pattern back around to your stitch marker. Okay, I've made it back around to end round four. And now you have 24 stitches. Move your marker up. And now we're going to do rounds five and six are just going to be one single crochet in every stitch. So I'm working on round five now. I'll have 24 stitches when I get back around. And then I'll move my marker up and I'll do round six the same. One single crochet in every stitch. Okay, I've made it to the end of round six here. 24 stitches still. I'm going to pull my stitch marker up. Round seven, I'm going to decrease. So I'm going to put one single crochet in the first two stitches. And then I'm going to decrease over the next two. And I'm going to repeat that all the way around. And then decrease. And I'm going to repeat that until I get back to my stitch marker. Okay, I've made it to the end of round 7. I should have 18 stitches now. Now round 7 through 28 are just rounds of one single crochet in every stitch. And you should have 18 stitches at the end of every round. So I'm on round seven now. I'm gonna continue working rounds of single crochet, moving my stitch marker up until I finish round 28. 18 stitches at the end of every round. Okay, once you get your 28 rows done on the arm, I'm gonna do a row of decreases. So go ahead and pull your stitch marker up. And then I'm going to put one single crochet into the first stitch and then I'm going to decrease over the next two. One single crochet into the next stitch and then decrease over the next two and repeat that. Single crochet and then a decrease. Single crochet And then a decrease all the way back to your stitch marker. It's not going to end even. You'll have two stitches left. Let's go ahead and single crochet in those last two. Now we're going to stuff his arm. Same way you kind of stuffed his leg. Just, the bottom would be just a little bit fatter. In the top, you want to give it a stretch too. I like to give it a stretch because over time his arms will stretch out. So if you stretch them now a little bit and then stuff them, they'll, it'll have more stuffing in them, if you know what I mean. Like if you don't stretch them and you stuff them and then later they get stretched, they're going to have spots that there ain't very much stuffing in them. So just get a little stretch them a little bit now to get some of the stretch out of it. That probably didn't even make no sense. <laughs> I'm just rambling on. Okay. And you need to make both of them the same. Kind of like that. I'm going to put a little bit more at the bottom. And kind of leave the top not quite so stuffed so we can sew it on. And now we can just sew it on the same way we sewed on our 
um, legs. You just decide where you want to put <clears throat> the arm. Probably just sew mine on somewhere right inch or so below the neck. Sew it on both sides the same. And make sure when you're done with this arm that you leave a long tail for sewing. Well, not have to be real long, I guess. I usually leave it about 12 inches or so. And you can sew, him, sew his arms on wherever you want. It's really up to you. But I'm going to sew this up once real quick. Put a couple stitches just to keep it a little bit closed while you're sewing his arm on. And like I said, I'm going about probably about an inch below his neckline. So right about here. And then wherever you sew him, follow the line over all the way and sew it on the same side. Just sew it on the same way you sewed his legs. Okay, let's do his ears, and again, ears will be made both the same way. Start with the slip knot on your hook. He's starting to kind of look like a teddy now. He looks a little weird without ears, so we'll get him fixed up. Okay, do you want to chain three? Slip stitch into your first stitch to form a ring. Chain one, which doesn't count as a stitch six single crochets through the ring. Pull that tail, close that circle up, get, break out your stitch marker, and round one we had six stitches, so round two we're going to jump to our first single crochet over here, and work two single crochets in it. And then two single crochets in every stitch. Back to your marker. Okay, round two, we got 12 stitches now. Go ahead and move your marker up. Round three, one single crochet into the first stitch. Two single crochets into the next stitch. One single crochet into the next stitch two single crochets into the next and we're just going to repeat this all the way around one single crochet then two single crochets one single and then two repeat it till we get back to our stitch marker And you should have 18 stitches when you make it back around. And that was the end of round three. Round four, move your marker up. One single crochet into the first two stitches. And then two single crochets into the next. And then we pre repeat that. One single crochet into the next two stitches two single crochets into the next, one into the next two, and two into the next. Then go ahead and repeat that till you get back around to your stitch marker. Okay, I made it back around uh, the end of round four, 
24 stitches now. Move your marker up. One single crochet into the first three stitches. And two single crochets into the next. And that's what we're going to repeat all the way around. One single crochet into the next three. And two single crochets into the next. So repeat that all the way around till you get your stitch marker. Okay, I made it to the end of round five. 30 stitches now. Go ahead and move your stitch marker up. Now I'm going to do one round of round six is going to be one round of one single crochet in every stitch. So one single in every stitch all the way around until you get back to your stitch marker. Okay, I made it back around and that was round six, 30 stitches still. Okay, now let's do some decreases. Round seven, we're gonna do one single crochet into the first three stitches. And then we're gonna decrease over the next two. And that is the repeat. One single crochet into the next three. And then decrease over the next two. And we're gonna repeat that all the way around back to the beginning. I'll just hang out with you and finish real quick. If you don't mind. And you should end in a decrease just like that. And now at the end of round seven, you should have 24 stitches. So 24, move your marker up. <clears throat> round eight, let's decrease again. So we're gonna do one single crochet in the first two and then decrease over the next two. Like that. And we're gonna repeat that, one single crochet into the next two. And then decrease over the next two. We're going to do this all the way around. The shorn seem to get a lot more fuzzier toward the end of the skein. Which is cool with me. But it makes it a little bit harder to see. That still glides real easy. Okay, at the end of round eight, you should have 18 stitches now. Now we're just gonna work one single crochet in every stitch all the way around. This will be our last round. So one single every stitch until you get back to your stitch marker. Okay, 18 stitches there on that last round. Go ahead and slip stitch into this next stitch that the stitch marker's in. Pull up and leave some um, 10 or 12 inches to sew on the ear with. Pull out that marker. And Kind of what the ear looks like. Just push it, fold it in half like that. Whichever way you like better. I guess they both look the same to me. So, now to sew the ears on, sew them on the exact same way. Let me get this big old teddy out here. What I like to do though with my ears is pin them on where I want to put them first. That way, I can kind of get them even. So, 
It's hard to show. Let me pull my camera up a bit. I think I got more room like this. There we go. Just kind of put them on here where, just about where I want and stick a pin in him. And that way I can adjust it. And dip my other one here. And look and see and make sure that's where I want to put it. And then I'll put a pin in, pin in it if it looks good. And then I'll sew them on the same way that I sewed all, all my other stuff with my tail. So the pin is just there to make sure you get them where you want them. However much space you want in between them. And make sure they're in the same spot. So go ahead and get them where you want them and sew them on just the same way we've been doing with the tail right through looping around both pieces just like we did the legs and this like we did the arms okay that's it there he is he is finished i think the ears are the hardest to get sewn on but once you get that done that's all you have to do if you want to put some clothes or something on him or dress him however you want to do but that's all there is to it i hope you're able to follow along okay please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel until next time have a good day. Teddy says bye.